This update came with a couple of glitches and it's got a few people worried. But today I want to talk about the glitches and talk about why maybe you don't need to worry about them. Definitely something that happens every time Test Realm goes in a live realm. There's normally a few bugs that they end up hot fixing like a week later or so. This always happens, but I feel like this time around there's actually a little bit more panic than usual around it. So I thought I'd make a video just informing people in case they didn't know about it. So there's actually two glitches that I wanted to talk about. And I wanted to talk about how King Xyle has responded to these, talk about their approach with these, some criticisms on my end. The first one is the Spellman Refund glitch, which I, it, it, it really, you gotta know a lot about this before we even talk too much about it. This has been a problem that's been going on for months. Essentially, they've been changing a lot of spells to fit school identity, and each of these changes, what they sometimes end up doing is they retire Spellman Pats from previous, you know, versions of the spell. The most recent example is Spectral Blast, right? They're adding this thing called an Echo Mechanic to a lot of Balance spells, so now Balance, you'll either see spells that swap like Locust Swarm or Gearhead, or you'll see the Echo Mechanic. Now, that means that the previous version of the spell doesn't exist, and what would you would assume is, because it's literally unable to be used, you should be able to refund it. But the second you click on it, it is not able to be refunded. Essentially, if you uh, uh, max tiered or honestly just tiered up your spellments at all in a pat that just doesn't exist anymore, you're out of luck. You don't have those spellments at the moment. So right now, as a balance, I can't test out the echo mechanic that they added to the new Spectral Blast because these spellments are tied up in a spellment pat that's now retired. Now, the good news is the fact that they added this little retired spell window, this feature, whatever you want to call it, the fact that they added this, it obviously shows that they know that this is an issue. I really hope this is fixed soon. There's reason to believe that based on dev comments that, that have been given on this. So hopefully this is fixed soon. I will say this though. I've seen a, a lot of tweets. I've seen like a lot of reason to believe that people with retired spellment pet, you know, like, it, like if, 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 you're, if you're talking about another example, right? People had like a retired spellment pet in Splash Squatch. There was a spellment pet on Splash Squatch that used to like cleanse a trap and then hit. So let's say that you invested like 600 spellments into that. They changed this spell. You would no longer have those spellments. They changed this spell months ago. And the people that reached out to get refunds on their spellments on this never got it. Same with Nautilus. So uh, I really hope that in the future, before they change or retire any more spellment pads, this is not an issue. One. And two, they should change their policy on spellment refunds. Max cheering one of these spells before gold keys came out was basically like a $600 to $700 investment. Now, is it somebody's fault for spending that much money to max your card on Wiz? Maybe, but that's a dumb argument. If it was a spell that they wanted, it's a spell that they wanted. You can't judge someone for purchases. So the real problem is, why are they retiring these pads and not just having a policy where they refund them? That's ridiculous. In the future, if there's a glitch where my spellments get tied up somehow in a way that I can't use them, I would hope that I can reach out to CS and they can just refund them. I hope that that's something that they think about. I guess this is one way of doing it, but what if you have spellments bug out for a reason that's not related to a retired spell? That then what? Are you just, do you have to wait another few months for them to do another feature that doesn't work? Like, what's going on? So this glitch, don't, I don't think they handled this one well, especially because it's been going on for a while and because the feature that they added isn't working. Just don't, you know, be too worried if you're, you know, like experiencing this. I know some people are experiencing this glitch uh, with Hydra Spellaments, with Spectral Blast Spellaments, all that jazz. The fix to that should come soon. Now, the other glitch that had a lot of people panicking was this timer glitch that's happening if you put elixirs in your bank. As you guys can see, I have a gold boost elixir. I'm mousing over it, don't have it equipped, it's in the shared bank, and as you can see, it's counting down from the 30 minutes even though I don't have it equipped. Now, while I don't really care about a gold boost elixir, some people really do care about their other elixirs, like gardening benefits, like double pet XP, all of those. Now, the good news is this glitch, this is just something that if you panic, you might mess up and make it worse for yourself. If you don't do anything, you won't mess up. It is a purely visual glitch. If you log out and log back in, this will reset. The only way that this could fully screw you over is if you see it counting down, you panic, you equip it, and then what will happen is it will continue on the timer where it is right now. So let's say that I saw it counting down, was like, oh my god, my elixir, I'm gonna lose it. Let's say that I moved it to my backpack, equipped it, it would start at 28 minutes and 40 seconds instead of 30 minutes. That's a problem. So don't do that. Just wait until they fix this. I don't even think that it's actually that crazy. Like, you know, I hope most people didn't do it. But I can definitely see a scenario where people that, especially that don't have that many extra elixirs, they like panicked and did it. And hopefully if they did equip these elixirs on a lowered, you know, countdown, 
hopefully they get those elixirs refunded. Again, there needs to be a policy on this from the customer support side of things. Now, once again, it does seem like they've made comments very, very quickly on how they're going to fix this. They put out a tweet, like, I want to say, like, about when I just started recording this video. Like, we're talking, like, in the past, like, hour. They're, they put out a tweet talking about maintenance. There's going to be, like, a maintenance window. So, hopefully, a lot of these little things get fixed. This might actually be the quickest hotfix I've ever seen at the foot of a test room going into live room. And they explicitly did mention the elixir time issue. Now, what happens as a result of people using elixirs? I guess that we'll find out. Hopefully not too many people were affected too negatively by, you know, losing time on their elixirs. That's the thing I'm really concerned about. But at least, you know, if this was a recurring thing, it's gonna stop literally today. These glitches are obviously not the end of the world. I think I've seen a lot of people overreact to them on Twitter. I feel like this is just something that needs to be expected, especially just a week outside of test realm. And as far as their response, I feel like, you know, on Twitter at least, they are saying that they're aware of it and they're solving it and they did it in a very timely fashion. So compared to the past, I do think that they're kind of on it at least. They even went as far as to talk about Rate My Stitch on multiple videos. They left a comment talking about, you know, yesterday's video. They actually left a comment talking about their approach what they're going to be doing because they're i think they're seeing the feedback they're not treating it as anything but valid concern and they're trying to do it in a pretty speedy fashion i think i think the moral of the story is don't be too hard on them if you do end up losing actual physical items and give them a hard time on that one and hopefully we see less and less glitches like this because some of them do kind of mess with the gameplay a little bit. Were you guys personally affected by these glitches? Do you know anybody that like did it or were you personally affected by it? And do you guys think, especially if people accidentally equipped a potion, even if it is a visual glitch, do you think that they're owed a refund? And what about the people that have been waiting months and months for a spellment refund? Do you guys think that they should have some sort of, I don't know, something to like, you know, something that they're given as a token of gratitude for their patient. I feel like KI does have some things to answer to on, on, on some of these. I don't know. Just wanted to make a video talking about a couple of things that I've really just seen floating around social media because, you know, maybe this will help someone, especially if they don't know what's going on, basically. Let me know what you guys think of this whole situation. Do you guys think that they're getting better about managing glitches outside of test room, or do you think this is worse than usual? I'd love to hear all of y'all's opinions. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Stay awesome. See y'all soon. And yeah, yeah.